I need to get my life together. Here's exactly how I'm gonna get my whole life together in five days and how you can do it too. So I feel that there are five pillars of wellness that most apply to our lives. Your physical, emotional, intellectual, social, and spiritual state. So every single day, I'm going to be replenishing one of those pillars of wellness and also editing certain productivity systems. We're gonna drive to Lifetime Gym. I have not been at the gym and I have not had like a solid lifting workout in so long. Health is so important, guys, especially just getting your body moving. I know not everyone has access to the gym, but ditch the home workouts if you can. Ever since I've started weightlifting at the gym, my life has changed. I'm stronger, healthier, smarter. Guys, I had such a good workout. Oh. So I've seen so many like TikTok that girls make cucumber water with lemon. That's what I'm going to do. I really want to start drinking a gallon of water every day and I'm going to start doing that tomorrow. Mm. Let's talk productivity systems. There are a lot of productivity systems that we'll be creating and editing this week. So Notion pages, my calendar, but the most important system in my opinion is your environment and... <laughs> This is my current environment. So ever since my sister moved out to college, I have moved into a room. So I have two rooms right now. This is my first room. And this is my second room. So this is like my room. And I just feel like in both environments, I haven't been treating them well. And this room has just become a stockpile of laundry. And then the other room, it's just like super cluttered. We're gonna start the whole cleaning process in my original room, not my sister's room. This room was honestly so easy to clean. All I had to do was put my laundry away. I literally always procrastinate putting my laundry away. Way, and I'm just trying to work on maintaining a clean room instead of just waiting for it to get messy and then cleaning it. According to my standards, this room is pretty clean. If you have been watching my videos for a while, you know that I love Notion. Y'all, without Notion, my days would literally go down the drain. It's how I organize my whole entire life. But my Notion has been looking really disorganized lately. I'm gonna spend a little while customizing my own Notion and after I'm done, I'm gonna show you guys a quick little tour of it. So my dashboard is super cute. My cover picture is of Greece. I have a Bible verse as a little call out text. Then I have a section for pages. So these are my daily pages, my time log, my journal, my notes, and other would be my content planner, my school page, and my Bible study page. And then I have some resources. So this is so freaking helpful. I have the categories life, YouTube, and school. I just include links. Like, and then YouTube, I have my links to analytics and the vlog channel. Now my dashboard is actually useful <laughs> and I can actually use it. When I first started delving into self-development, there was this big theme when it comes to your mental health. You are in control of your emotions, but I didn't feel very in control of my emotions. I didn't know how to grasp them, so they took control of me. So for emotional day, I was originally going to do a journal entry, do a journal prompt, but I found something much more fitting for how I'm feeling, and I'm going to be writing a song. So when I was like in middle school or whenever I had boy issues, I would write an original song. And I posted some of these on YouTube, and I was just reflecting on them in the way like back later. And I just have to admit something to you guys. Feels even embarrassing saying it. It's just something I've been struggling with recently. I want a boyfriend. See, I've always like seen myself as a very like independent person and I'm very happy alone. But recently I've just been feeling that desire more. It's just upsetting me. One, the guys that I like are that are my age usually aren't Christian of the same faith as me or two, just like really not mature and ready for anything. The older guys that are Christians that I'll usually like. Girl, I'm gonna catch a case. I'm 14. They'd be like 18, 17, above. So it's not gonna work out and recently it's just been making me feel very hopeless. Like I'm gonna be alone forever. There's just been a specific amigo that I'm thinking of specifically for this song. It's been a while since I wrote a song, but what my songwriting process usually is, I make a few notes about everything that I'm feeling, everything that I want to address in the song, and then later I go to the piano and kind of piece it together in lyrics. I ignore the and think it's all the same. I used to think that love was made for everyone, but I guess that's I think my favorite lyric has to be, my favorite things about you come in dreams is just really as real as I think. If you ever feel like you like someone, you have like a dream, or they're doing something nice, and then you realize that you're just hallucinating that. You're putting what you want 
to a purse. And now I'm going to be creating a notion page called a cookie jar. A cookie jar page is basically a list of all your accomplishments, inspiration, things that you've gone through. Focus on what did I already overcome, inspiring quotes. I've been really wanting to make a literal notion page for encouragement. Okay, so I am starting off my page. I already made a few edits. So I've got achievements, reminders. I think it's just so important to systemize the things that make you weak emotionally. I am discouraged often. I should create a system to aid in that. So currently all the pictures that you see here are not mine. They come from the original template. So I'm going to need to find some pictures on Pinterest or of my own. Now I'm going to be editing my Apple Calendar. I use Apple Calendar. I know some people use Google Calendar, but I literally live on my calendar. Like without my calendar, I don't know what I would do. It's not really looking very aesthetic right now. As you guys can see, I only have like some categories. I'm very much of a digital organization person with all my Notion pages, my online calendars. I just prefer digital over paper. I've switched my calendar categories to much more like earthier light colors. Got YouTube in a light green, Instagram, school, personal. I have Jesus time, just when I'm doing devotions and like church appointments and piano. It just looks a lot more pastel and cute. Today's my glute day. I'm so excited. Glute day is like my favorite. I'm going to the gym today at 9 a.m., which is later than I usually go, but I got my second vaccine shot like two days ago. I really do need to take a little bit more of a rest. Look at these new earrings I got, guys. They're from Princess Polly. They're just little keys. I'm doing a summer entrepreneurship program and it's starting in like two weeks. I feel like I'm gonna need to know how to code. Your intellectual health is actually so important. I feel like when I'm stimulating my brain outside of school, reading, learning things that I actually want to learn, I'm just a better person overall. So I'm using Code Academy to learn JavaScript. I don't know if I should be learning JavaScript or Java. It says that JavaScript is easier than Java. So I'm gonna start there because I don't know any coding languages. And if you wanna learn something over the summer, like it totally doesn't have to be coding. It can be anything. I am just super into business and entrepreneurship and I think the future of business is gonna be tech guys. I finally found confidence in school when I learned how to learn outside of school. Use this time in the summer to enrich your brain. It's not lame and I promise you're not missing out from fun. I need to go walk my dog. But I have literally just been coding for 40 minutes and I have already learned like all the basics. Let's go Charlie. <laughs> So I know this whole video is about how to get your life together, but I've been running into a big issue. I keep cleaning my room every day and it just ends up messy again. Which means I clearly don't have a system and actual habits keeping my room clean. So I'm going to write a little contract with myself on how I'm gonna keep my room clean. Here are the rules that I made for my clean room. One, my bed has to be made. Two, no messy stuff on my bed or my desk. If I'm lazy, I'm gonna put the stuff on the floor. And three, put away at least one piece of laundry every day. I just need to get into the habit of touching it. So we're gonna get into some like real deep talks about my social life and situation. I found it really hard to have friends this year. I'm definitely friendly with people and talk to a lot of different types of people and I feel like this year I got more comfortable with starting conversations with people and really just putting myself out there. I feel like I have a lot of people in my life but I don't have like a person in my life. And I know that I don't need that but it has been tough. I guess I'm just scared to like commit time into a friendship. I either feel super lonely and disconnected or I feel like I'm hanging out with people too much. I'm wasting my time. I'm not progressing enough in my own independent life. I am all for self-development while you're a teenager, but I also feel that it can be taken to extreme. I don't want to be in my senior year of high school wishing that I had more fun. It's hard because maybe the things that people are doing to have fun isn't really what God would want me to do. So it's just like finding that, you know, group of friends that will be a good influence on me. And I've definitely had times where I was looking for a best friend. I had all these super close friends and just almost like I was looking for the best candidate. And I've learned that no one is perfect, like even me as a friend. And you're not gonna get everything from one friend. But sometimes I just wish I had like someone to call, you know, best friend. Like I found my outfit for the shoot. I'm going to be wearing this dress from Aritzia. Go follow my Instagram at AnnieLongYT because all the pictures we'll be taking will be posted on there. Hey guys, I'm with Angie. We're at Wellesley College and we're gonna shoot here. We're gonna do some shots with like a white background and also do some shots probably near the college building. What's your favorite location? Like are you a four? girl like city I kind of like anything I mean I do hate like very very urban I think like garages are overused yeah <laughs> now. I should be taking pictures of you oh my goodness I told Angie that I'm really working to get out of my comfort zone I need to get out of the just smiling for portraits thing I want to do something that challenges me go ask a friend you've been hung out with before to hang out this week you may be surprised in what you discover and learn from them don't worry baby don't worry good morning I used to think it was super weak to go to God as an outlet 
to go to something as an outlet to make you feel better because I was like, just be more successful. But I've learned that sometimes you can be successful and so unsatisfied with what you've done. I go on to the Bible app. I watched the Good Morning like story. So every single day they have the verse of the day. But then I looked at his face. But right now I'm on a journey to finishing the Bible and I'm in 2 Kings right now. I do a lot of highlighting and annotation in my Bible. Growing my relationship with Jesus has been vital recently, but it hasn't been easy. I don't like to force my religion on others, but I've been too shy in what I've witnessed and experienced that it's become selfish. Right, you're totally quite hey, how should someone get their life together, G? Oh God, I kind of lose track. Here. Really just focus on you. Get your schoolwork done. We're on the turf because we finished our um, condom jeopardy. <laughs> we how, how should someone get their life together? Oh, to any of the male audiences, just speak to the male. Oh, so we don't have anything on that, but. <laughs> Um, we can work on it for sure. Mm. Don't give up on anything. What's the hardest part of high school, guys? Making like like friends that you can like talk to about anything mm. is yeah. really important. Have you ever been rejected by a girl? Um, I don't really shoot a shot care. ever. <laughs> How come you don't shoot shots? I just don't care. Yeah. I don't want to date anyone yet. Yeah. Mm.